All right, welcome to another edition or a five minute tutorial. Um, what I'm going to do today is steal a bunch of stuff from Maya and bring it into ZBrush. Well, I'll show you how to do one and you can steal as many as you want. Okay, so first off, let's make a polygon. Drag it out. Go into paint effects, make it paintable. Paint effects, get brush. Paint effects, template brush settings. Okay, I'm going to choose this body fur. I'm going to rank up the global scale quite a bit. Okay, and paint out a few strokes. Shh, virtual memory. Who needs that? Okay, I would suggest you keep your strokes as straight as possible. And you can do that just by making some very straight strokes. And keep it even on both sides. Okay, when you're done, what you do is you click and drag everything. Shift click the grid or the polygon. Modify, convert, paint effects to polygons. File, export selection, and export it to your hard drive on somewhere on your desktop or anywhere you want as an OBJ. Okay, in ZBrush, you should import said OBJ. You'll get this really fine hair. And if you want really thick hair, you could just go to the Move tool, move it just a little bit, and go to the Deformation tablet. And inflate by like five. There we go, thicker hair. Cool. Okay, what can you do with the hair? Well, document. Uh, make sure it's on 1024 by 1024. New document, no. Whoops, 1024, 1024, and resize. Zoom out, drag the hair piece out, and hit edit. Okay, center it within the document, scale it up some, but leave an outside border. Alpha, so touchy, grab document. Okay, save that within uh, C drive program files, 86, Pixelogic, uh, ZBrush 3Z startup, Alpha's directory, and you'll always have it. Uh, it is also upside down, so what I'm going to do is go Alpha, flip vertical. There we go. Okay, so what can we do with this? Well, it makes an awesome hairbrush, of course. So here's our friend, the demo head, for a brief demonstration of this. And this is one half of a tutorial. And the other half of a tutorial, I'm going to show you how to keep the resolution. So what I think I'll do, well, I'll just draw a couple strokes here. Okay, here's drag and drop, drag rectangle. Here's your alpha. And you can just simply click and drag out and you get really fine hair. Okay, so it is having a hard time keeping up with that resolution and I'll explain why in the next video on uh, the difference between poly paint and uh, texture.